think that this week's time capsule task is one of the most important we've had. It's called When This Is Over, but looking at society now, I don't know whether it ever will be over. And just thinking about it, I'm thinking about when will this be over? There's so much uncertainty and so much just to process. When this is over, I would love to see my family and friends and go out shopping. When this is over, I hope to get to go to prom. I hope to go prom just shopping and attend my prom. When this is over, I will tell everyone close to me just how much they mean to me. When this is over, I want young people to have a voice. I want to be taught about the things that really matter. When this is over, I'd like to see people who have learned from their experience during lockdown. A lot of people focusing on the bad and negative things that have happened. I think if we focus more on the more positive things, we can really shift towards how a, a new normal could look and what could be improved. Now of lockdown, I can't wait to see my friends who've become nothing but voices in a phone, see my grandparents and hug them again but I'm aware that some people will never hug their grandparents again. When this is over, things will be different. I'll be different. I might be taller, although that is unlikely. I will have learned to be organised and plan my week ahead. I'll be able to see my friends again and do the things that I enjoy. Some good things that would make a positive impact on me would be things like maybe having one day of school at home. This would help to, uh, you know, appreciate time spent with family and with friends. And would also help to relieve mental health, stress and pressure from work. This ties in with more of a capability to work at home for adults. My dad, who usually works away from home quite a lot, has been working from home uh, this whole period. And it's been great to have family members around who otherwise wouldn't be and to really appreciate the time spent with them. When this is over, I don't know what I'll do, but it definitely will not involve staying inside. When this is over, we need big changes for this virus to be a good change. We need equality for everybody. We need more fair pay for people in the very top and the very bottom. We need less space between the social classes. And when I think of this virus, I think of something very scary. But then I think of something that's been able to sit us down and have us think about the society that we're living in and maybe give a, giving us a second chance at creating something where everybody is happy.